How's it going, guys? This is Razorath bringing you part 14 of Heavy Rain. So we had a little hiccups in part 13. Made two mistakes that I don't know how it's going to alter the game. But... Uh, this girl's stubborn as a mule. She don't let up. With or without me. It's all my fault. I should never have let her go with me. Such an idiot. I better catch her there. Do anything good once in my arms. Oh, look at you, you big lug. <laughs> Being a good hearted person that you are. We all know it, Mr. Tough Guy. Thursday, 11.15 a.m., 3.3 inches. Getting close. Getting super close now. Yeah? What do you want? Ugh. Fuck. I said a thousand times that I don't want any jokes. You wanna score, man? You gotta fuck your call first. Come on. Beat it. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I said get out of here! You're gonna cost me. Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. I'm pressing it wrong. I had to hold it. What do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. You sure we can make a deal? Huh? God! I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! Uh -huh. you come into my house and say, oh, right, oh, shoot up in hell, motherfucker! Whatever you want. Got dope? Got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, girl. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. No, shoot. You're not a murderer, you think? I'm a father, too. But I'm no killer. Don't make this guy out to make you a killer.
the only time he wants is he wants to frame me, you can. He's got the perfect hour. How about Thursday, 1.32 p.m., 3.4 inches. it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the clock. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. So is that who we tried to shoot? Or at least the owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lived here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. It wasn't the same guy, didn't you think? She's on a different lead, I think. Hi. Uh, I was told you could get the trophin without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come here. So, you're looking for Betropritin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Don't do it. You don't know what to be in that alcohol. To be laced with something. This guy sells the real stuff all the time. Really. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Tight neighborhood. People talk. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um, um I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. It won't be a moment. Wait here. The guy gives me the creeps. Better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. Or make up some lies if he finds me. The doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Could the doc be the origami killer? There's something about the way he looks. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. I knew he probably slipped the game and drink. Quick. We gotta find something. Don't make a sound. He's near.
Stop it. He seemed to be upset that I wouldn't drink. I get the feeling I didn't like them. Surgical needles? I thought he stopped performing operations. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia past. What's he up to? He went down the hall to get the drugs. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come senses. Another one of those goddamn government spies. Guys, just keep So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Joe, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. He fornicates with his dancers from the blue. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn, because as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Yeah, like sting it. Dude, what this shit? Yeah. As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll give you the bar visitor and be right back. Go boo, I won't be long. Come on, let's go, girly. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Jiggle. Jiggle, 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 jiggle that freaking rope, dude. Hello, sir. I had a little bit of a lure for me to be the medicine, which I was glad I did with you. In return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Oh, no, I cannot believe the word of the Lord is no interest here. We, his humble flock, should walk in his steps for St. John. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, so much, but I don't believe it. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. 
Doctor goes down. Whew, that was freaking intense, dude. I was like, oh my gosh, she's tossing around freaking sharp drills and freaking cutting bone saws and stuff. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. <sighs> yeah, girly. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. <gasps> He's still alive. Oh, dude. Come on, bro. We gotta resist them drugs. There is a 218 PM, 3.5 inches. Jaden, 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 what is going on, bro? Dude, those drugs in the front of the That was the most intense battle again. I was like, no. Beyonce. Got the sweats. Hands are screaming. Hope this works out all right. Got them rain. Soaking that. Too much of the rain. Got it in my room. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours of going Mars still alive. We're down to a day now. Better have a way to die on the blue movie. Matt Jack, aka Jackson Neville. This guy, the criminal record is lying my arm. Better be careful. This is one fucked up sort of place. Our question never will get the hell out of here. A scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen car. Blake wasn't in the office. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. Matt Jack is suspected of stealing a car more boy. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Hey, Quacker! What you doing in here? Norman Jake, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 82. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring the bell. I got a real bad memory. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, I'm looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk.
Why is there blood here? On your head, pig. I ain't got time to clean around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and get you off. yourself in the ass. <laughs> I've no time to lose, Jack. I want to know who that car belongs to. But what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no bitch. You better just lock now, boy. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Because I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man. Don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was it, because you won't really be able to talk. Oh, well, yeah, Jack. You crazy motherfucker. You ain't, man. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirt, get him a new one in false place. He paid cash, and I ain't the question of time. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the blue and the car was done. Now, that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got my man. Let him go. I didn't know I was gonna do drugs. Damn it. Everything I do in this game just keeps messing up. I'm gonna kill him. He does not need to keep doing that shit. Thursday, 4.30 p.m., 3.6 inches. It's gotten close. Oh, Jaden's about to die from overdose. They got fingerprinted on them. We keep so messing up with Jaden, dude. How do we proceed with Jaden not messing that makes up? Sense. Didn't want him putting his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer? Right? I kicked his butt well, right there. I couldn't just let men. myself with Charles. Gordy someone? has the time and means not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the kid? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. I just need to stop anything that involves freaking taken. Mag means about origami. You think the killer could have subscribed to it? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. 
I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're in the shower. I'll get started right away, so I'll be ready for the shower. Some nerve, you know. <laughs> Some the old days. Looks like someone else's life to me now. Ah, warm. We've just been toasting the old days. Didn't bring him much luck. You know. A strange thing, Carter. After all these years, hasn't changed a bit. Still a true fun. <laughs> Jaden, dude, that's gonna cost me. How did I know he was going? I didn't know he was going for drugs. I thought he was, that was to resist again. This game does not give any hints for him to stop doing drugs. is really harsh. I'm trying to have the detectives make it through this, yet he keeps overdosing like crazy. I'm not trying to kill him. I'm trying to save him. As far as I'm concerned, it's almost four inches, and he's been given into two oh, two doses of that stuff. I should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. <laughs> Join the view. See how she's doing. Hey, it looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to... About 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazine. You've still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lord, wait. Eat your eggs, Missy. Well, guys, that wraps up part. <sighs> That'll wrap up part 14 for now. Um, looks like we gave in to another overdose with Jaden. We weren't trying to. Um, I don't know how far Ghani is. He's probably dead already. Yeah. We're... I'm gonna keep hoping for the best to save Jaden. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to. But, um. Stay tuned to part 14 to figure out what's. Um, or, um, part 10, I mean. And we'll continue on with the private investigator to see what Lauren's. Um, what Lauren's manifest has led to. This is Razor Wrath. Peace out.